So they had to make sure a steering wheel was in every one, just in case, just in case the, the car got a mind of its own, you know? So that, that's exactly what that is. But either way, they're heading in the right direction. Uh, there's a high powered Apple design chip in the Apple car and it is the most advanced component that Apple has ever developed. Um, four times the power of four Mac chips. It's made from neural processors that can handle the incredible AI load needed for autonomous vehicles. Because Apple has no experience with car manufacturing, it will need partners to produce the vehicle. And Apple is said to be working on security partnership in the automobile industry. It's not yet known who Apple will work with, but it's held discussions with Hyundai and other companies. The Apple car has been described as Apple's next star product with Apple able Apple able to offer better inter integration of hardware, software, and services than potential, potential competitors in the automotive market. The Apple car is likely to be marketed as a high-end vehicle rather than the standard electric vehicle, but Apple is aiming for a price starting at about $100,000. In June of 2017, Apple CEO Tim Cook spoke publicly about Apple's work on autonomous driving software, confirming the company's work in a rare candid mo moment. So would you buy an Apple car? Is the Apple car gonna be as popular as the iPhone? I think uh, 58 million iPhones were sold, iPhone 15s were sold last year. So are, are they gonna be as successful? I think that they will be. Uh, if history repeats itself, uh, um, Apple doesn't have many flops. Uh, you know, the big news is their head gear that's coming out. And that is the, uh, what is that? The, uh, that comes out real shortly. But I, I would much rather pay for a $100,000 vehicle than, uh, you know, I think it's 20000 or, or no, it was $10,000 resale for the Apple headset. And then it's starting if you can get one because they're only making a certain amount. If you can get one of the headsets, the VR head, Apple headsets, it's like $2,500, but the resale is like $10,000. So people love Apple, but I don't know if they love Apple that much to pay that much for a headset. But if somebody can't afford it, they will pay a hundred thousand for an Apple car because those are those are going to be better than the Teslas.